Where's David? Oh, he's out back. You want to come meet him? Yeah. Whoa. There's We're a demoing. lot going on. Yeah. It's a lot going on. You ready for this? I. I when, oh, no. I am not ready for this at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, you guys. I thought I was coming to like a 977 square foot flip. That's wow. that part. And, then, and this is the 1,000 square foot edition. That's a major renovation. OK, so tell me where we're standing right now. This is the ADU. We are extending the house to the rear. So total, we're looking at adding another 1,000 square feet. So we spent how much on the house? We paid 710. OK, mm -hmm. and what was your total budget? We've spent about 150. We still have another 375 estimated to still go. So okay. and that includes everything, like exterior as well? That does not include any landscaping. Welcome. Okay. Welcome to that the basement. This is the bonus space. It's huge, though. It is huge. Wow. We didn't know really what to do with it. It's pretty much what it was like when we purchased it. Oh, wow. It's huge in here. There's a lot of storage. <laughs> oh, my. So this is the old laundry room. Wow. Laundry will probably stay around here just because all the plumbing is here. Right. So we were thinking the stairs come down and the laundry would be underneath the stairs. This is one area where I think we are very open. Welcome to Sierra Villa. So this was, OK, OK. <laughs> I'm getting all my thoughts together. I know it doesn't look amazing, but believe me, this is great progress compared to what we had when we first okay. bought it. The original house was a small three-bedroom, one-bath home, 990 square feet, eight-foot ceilings. But it was all wood, and so it felt really dark and low. And this was the living room? It was the living room. And then a dining area here, and then a small kitchen here. You can kind of see mm -hmm. the original walls. So we have a blank canvas now and um, basically new construction. <laughs> Looking around at this 100-year-old precious little house, I'm shocked how and why they gutted original 1920s wood and fixtures. Eagle Rock buyers would have killed for that. Now, what are your current plans? We're going to have three bedrooms and two bathrooms, all three bedrooms on this side. So this first bedroom's right off of the front door? Yes. And then a shared bathroom for these two bedrooms will be here in the middle. This is the second bedroom right here. And then we expand this way to this bedroom. So this whole side of the house will be bedrooms. That's boom, right. boom, boom. And bathrooms, too. OK. So living room, the dining room, and then the kitchen. We're going to push out as well. OK. I don't know. I just see a lot of doors, and I see a lot of bedrooms on one side. and. It just seems a little clustered to me. Is that the best usage of all of this new square footage that you'll have? To that point, I mean, we have sort of scraped and clawed the, the financing together to make this happen. Our, oh. our parents have played a, a big role in this. They're we want to do. Dream. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. And so, oh, that's what it is. So we, you know, it's, just, it's almost like a little bit more pressure because of that. Yes. It's, it's fantastic, this but at the same time, we're pressure. like, oh. OK, that's a whole new spin on it. This is a whole love project. So I'm going to go grab my tablet, take some pictures, you know, get out my mental notes. And I just have to think. Take it all in. All right, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm determined to stick to my 60-day timeline to flip this house. All right, you guys, it's demo day. Not only will school be starting, which sends buyers away, it's my word to David and Tira to stop the seven-month bleeding that they've had waiting on permits for the ADU. This is a big shift, and I want to help these flippers embrace their new future with a symbolic gesture. Plus, someone has to help fill up this hole. While Tira and David continue filling up the canceled ADU, I'm upstairs with a team prepping our small space for the new two-bedroom layout and open concept living. There were just too many walls for such a small space. We then made our way into the basement, where Mitch uncovered antique 1920s beams under those ugly acoustic tiles. Oh, Beautiful. Great. 
Oh, How nice yeah. is this? Just to have, I mean, not only the extra height, but have this amazing wood. People would it's gorgeous. break laws to get their hands right? on this stuff. It's like a hundred years old. Yeah, Can you yeah, a hundred years old. We decided to mostly put the front bedroom, the one near the front door, back together the way it originally was. Leave the bed there. And then Put your closet. Build a closet here. That works. I like that. That definitely Tight, works. Tight, but it fits. I like it there. I see it. So, cool. So now let's go over. We have our hall bath, yes. right? So now we just yep. have to orange out the main bedroom and the main bathroom. All right. Yo! Yes! Okay. When you walk in this front door, you're going to see the whole house. And you're not going to be able to see where the where the main bedroom door is. And I think yeah, that's really dope. The door. Yeah, you'll just yeah. see a wall, nice piece of art, yeah, mirror, or whatever. Yeah, you kind of just walk in and out. You're kind of hidden table. away. And then you go in. Right. Chow! Okay. You turn around space. This is bathtub and shower. I got this. Okay. That is not what a dunny looks like. There oh, we go. That's a dunny. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Vanity. Draw the sinks. There we go. Ooh! Wow. This is great. It's good size. You got a window right in front yeah. of you, flooding the lights, great. flooding in from the west. Can we map out this hall bath real quick? You're gonna put a door probably here. Shower across the back wall here. Sorry, a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, thank you. Toilet. <gasps> Sorry. Yeah, toilet has to go here. Yeah. Little little pedestal basin there. Great. I mean, that works. With the right side of the house set with our two bedrooms and two bathrooms, we can now focus on the left side of the house, which we are just opening up to have living, dining, and kitchen all fused into one grand area. The challenge is where to best position the kitchen island, since ideally it would go where we need to build the stairs that go down to the basement. I don't think that works. I'm really feeling the 990 square feet in this house. The minute you contemplate moving one thing over, you have to move something else. But I just need this to be functional, regardless how small it is. This is the depth of the kitchen cabinets. Okay. 24 inches. Your sink here, your range over here where you put the fridge. All right, so here we go. Washing my hands. Yeah. Uh oh, I gotta flip the egg. Yep. Uh oh, I gotta go to the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Well, it took some contemplation, but we eventually got there. And the kitchen island eventually found its new location. I think that feels good. And it also all like lines up and it makes it kind of flow down here yeah. a little. And then it's just literally open. Yeah. All the way okay. through to the other it's end be of, so pretty once of the room to do, to do what you want with. I'm good with that. Then dining room and living on the other side. We have a great footprint right here. Yeah, I'm good with it. I like it. Shortly after dialing in on our layout for the house, I received a serious call from Dave and Atira that they need to talk immediately in person about a possible big change. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, how, how are, are you? Guys? you? So yes. I have my notebook. Let me hear it. All right. Um, <clears throat> First, I, I just really want to say, this was really hard. We have spent probably half a dozen late nights debating, uh, is probably a nice way to put it, with each other about this. We want to go back to the original design. Com change strategy, uh, ADU. Pivot again. Three, two, <laughs> pivot again. That is a, that's a big 360. Yeah. There's an emotional piece, and then there's, you know, there's a business piece. When we first talked about the, the tutu, there was such a relief of having you come in and supporting us and just feeling like, okay, great, we've got a team now. It feels like we're stepping back and we're trying to hit singles. This is not something Tara and I do. We go for the home runs, and you know, we might strike out, but we, we might hit that home run. We want to finish what we started. Kind of want to see it done. I hear you, and I hear your hearts, right? Let me speak to the emotional side first, because that's what we as humans should lead with, and it's kind of hard to cut that off when you get into the flipping business, because you really have to learn to separate the two. It's not a home you're gonna live in. It's not your legacy home. You're not passing this home down to your children. I just saw a property close two days ago that's 1,000 square feet that closed at 1.349. 
Just about every single renovated thousand square foot home property in Eagle Rock has sold for 1.3. There's 300,000. We're already eight months in to you owning this property. <laughs> That's yeah. scary enough right there. And to add another four to six months on top of that, because you want to hit a home run, I don't have that same confidence. We're willing to take that risk. We may look back on this and say, geez, you know what? Paige was right. You're really only doing this out of emotion. Absolutely. Yeah. Then, you know, our agreement stops. So we just tear up the agreement because it's also my business on yep, this side of the we, table. And we understand that. There's really nothing more for me to do except to cheer you on. I just don't agree at all. I have to put it out there. And it really gives me a knot in my stomach because I've seen flippers lead with emotions and I have not seen it work out well. I've certainly had people change their mind about direction of a flip, but this is just basic math. They are now going back to spending their original $375,000 in renovation costs rather than the 100 k plan that I gave them. You guys need to get to work. I sincerely wish nothing but the best for them, but this is not a plan I can participate in. Not in good faith. Nothing is done. In flipping, you win some and you lose some. David and Tira's project is a big loss for them. They're now over 14 months in and still paying $4,000 in debt every month, not to mention the larger $375,000 budget for the addition. This is what I call a cautionary tale because they'll be lucky to break even. What a shame. <laughs>